So today we're going to be unleashing more potential with these great tablets by installing the Google Play Store. So you can download millions of the applications you know, that just run on normal Android. So please check the description for the link and updated links you know, because they're going to update these over the years. So just make sure you check the description. I'll make sure to update the links that I'm going to be using today to show you how to get the Google Play Store. So check that, but also check the link right now, the Kindle Fire 7s, the all new ninth generations are only $49.99. So this is a great deal for a an Android tablet that's got really a, a pretty powerful processor for that at that price point. So check my description for that link. You can head there and check these out. But um, the reason why I bought these and why they were so appealing to me was because they become a cheap square terminal for when you're deploying you know, several of these out in the field. If they break, it's not a big deal. It wasn't an expensive terminal. And when you need a lot of them, it gets expensive really fast. So these particular uh, devices are gonna be used pretty much solely for square. And what a perfect device because they're so cheap and actually have pretty good hardware. So that's what I bought them for. And I know Square, they don't actually, they don't say on their website that they support the Kindle Fire. And the reason why they say that is because you'd have to put the Google Play Store on here. And, you know, Square is not in the business of showing you how to do that. So you can run Square on these. It runs awesome. It's just that first, the first hurdle you have to jump through is getting Square on there. So you can uh, follow along here and we're going to show you how to get the Google Play Store on here. So Fire, right now, you know, these just got released. It's June 10th today, June 12th, sorry. These just were released six days ago. And of course, right now they're running Fire OS 6, 6 dot whatever version, you know, minor version they're on. So the Fire OS 6 corresponds to Android 7.1. So it's, it's Android Nougat. And so we're going to be installing four applications in order to get this to work. So obviously you need the Google Play Store and, and you have to do these in a certain order. Otherwise uh, you'll have problems. So just go ahead and install these in the same order that I do. But we have to install the Google Account Manager, the Google Services Framework, the Google Play Services, and then finally the actual Google Play Store. And so we'll do them in that order. So the Google Account Manager and the Google Services Framework, those are specific and those have to be specific to the version that you're on. So if you do this and you it doesn't end up working, it's probably because of one of those two. The Google Play Services, not the framework, so just the services, and the Google Play Store uh, run on any device, so it, it doesn't matter which version you download. You just want to make sure you download the newest version, and I'll show you how to get that. So let's get started. I've already got the Google Play Store on these two out of my five devices. And so let's go ahead and run through it on this one. I, I just turned this on and set it up. So I'm gonna disable Alexa. And unfortunately, what comes on these things is an awful silk browser. It's, it's what they call the, their you know, web browser and it's terrible. So luckily once you install the Google Play Store, you can uh, put Chrome on here. So we'll just have to manage for now with their awful web browser. So the first thing we wanna do is download the Google Account Manager. And I've made a very nice, actually, sorry, the first thing we need to do is enable um, the ability for you to install third-party applications. And so that's just in the settings here in the security. All right, come down here to security apps from unknown sources and say yes. And then now we can go back. So now that'll allow us to download these from the internet and it'll let us install them on this device. So um, we wanna go up here in the browser and I've already made a nice short URL for you because you know this web browser sucks and it's gonna be bad enough the way it is to type in a long URL so we don't wanna do that. So I've made a shortened link and again, check the description. I'll make sure to try to update these but just follow along here. All right, so that was just a shortened URL of pretty much this entire long thing. And I saved you five minutes from typing this and then possibly getting it wrong. So 
Google Account Manager 7.1.2, Android 6 and up. And my download will start automatically here. It should. And Silk, for the first time you run Silk Browser, uh, it says it's going to need access to download files. Just say yes and allow. And then once it's done downloading, say OK. So then that's going to launch the installer and then open. You can see Google Account Manager is going to be installed. App installed. Just say done. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, that shortcut gave us straight to this, the Google Services Framework 712. So this is the same version number that I was downloading on the other one. And um, we'll say OK, download, and open. These two are fast downloads. Uh, the next one's going to be a little bit longer. So install. We're installing the Google Services Framework, and done. OK, so now um, I recommend APK Mirror. They're a very good website. So let's go ahead and um, now that we're, we're already on their website, let's come up to the top and hit the search button. And what we need to download next is the Google Play Services. So let's just type that in. And so this one is does not matter what version you're running. We just want to get the newest one. Okay. And so I want this top one. It was updated just one day ago. So I'll click on that. There we go. Scroll down, and you see we have two different ones. And one of them says no DPI. We want the one that says no DPI. So let's click on that one, on that variant. And then once this loads, we'll scroll down, and it tells us a little bit more about what we're downloading. We're downloading the no DPI version when it was uploaded, the Android version. And it's, it's going to be a bigger file. It's 48 and a half megabytes. So Scroll down past these ads and click the download APK button. So that should launch it here automatically. Say OK. And then now we can see in the top it's downloading. And then we can click on it. And it's going to load it up here. Google Play Services. Come down here, install. And again, this one will take just a minute. All right, done. And lastly, we're ready for the actual Google Play Store. So come back up to APK Mirror, hit the search box, and we're going to just type in Google Play. Google Play Store. And again, this one does not matter uh, which specific version you're running. That was only the first two. So we want the one that was updated today. Um, so click on that one. We can scroll down and we can see, you know, this is a universal architecture, Android 4.1 and above, the no DPI. So we want this one. Click on that. We'll start our download again here in a second. We'll scroll down again. Here's the information. 19 megabytes and hit this download button here. Hit OK. It's downloading. Click on it, Google Play Store, install, and here it is installing. All right, now let's just hit open. This time we're actually launching the Google Play Store on our Kindle Fire 7, all new ninth generation, and we're prompted with a sign in button. So we'll just click that, let it sit for a second. It's going to spin up, make sure that it can contact Google servers. And then you'll be presented with a login box where you can sign in and get instant access to all the apps that you could normally get on just a regular Android tablet. So this is how you unleash the power of your new Kindle Fire 7. Again, check the description 
for all the updated links and a description and a link to uh, go head over to Amazon and get you one of these $49.99 all brand new tablets. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and like, subscribe on this video, and we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.